Hello, my name is Navigator, and in today's video, I'm going to be taking a look at the vending machines in Fallout 76. Now, uh, before I confuse the hell out of you guys, what I'm referring to is the ammo vending machines, the uh, medical vending machines, and like the mine vending machines. We're going to be taking a look at some other ones as well, and on top of that, uh, I actually have a little surprise at the end of the video for you. So, um, I came over here to the White Spring Station because I was looking for somebody that would have like, you know, a vendor and uh, these actual ones, you know, right next to each other. But uh, uh worked out pretty well. So what I'm going to do here is just take you into the uh, train station here. Looks like there's some PvP going on, which is pretty interesting. Um, but the first one I want to talk about, just to get it out of the way, is going to be the uh, legendary ammo vending, or not legendary ammo, but the legendary exchange. Um, it's pretty straightforward. You put your legendary shit in here, and then, you know, you, you get rid of it. Whatever. Okay. Next one I want to talk about is going to be uh, these guys right here. So this is going to be the ammo and the medical supply uh, vending machines. Now, the purpose of this video is I kind of just want to point out, like, if this is even valuable at all, if, if these are in any way, like, worth your time. Uh, there's another vending machine uh, aside from these other two I'm going to show you, but let's start off with these. So on the left here, again, we have the medical supply vending machine. And opening this up, uh, what do we have here? So this is the, the whole inventory. You can see it's just buff out, medex, mentats. You got some cigarettes. I don't know why that, that would be in a medical supply one, maybe for cauterization or something. But you also have some Psycho, Rataway, Stimpaks, and Stimpak Diluted. Now, the Stimpak Diluted are 24 caps. That's not the... It's not the worst price, but a regular stim pack for 66, I don't know about that, man. Maybe if you're like a lower level, you know, you're, you're looking for some, some healing shit like that, but I really, I really don't know. It looks like it's uh, really all they have in this vending machine, so I guess the, I guess we might have an answer to our question pretty fast. But over here on the right, we have the ammunition vending machine, and it doesn't look like this just sells ammo. So let's look over here, all the way down here in ammo, we have some uh, 50 cal, 10 millimeter, 5.56, some shotgun shells, flares, crossbow bolts, and Syringer, and those are at a pretty reasonable price. 5.56 is a tad bit expensive, but 10 millimeter is not that bad for two caps. Same with, uh, what else we got? Same with syringer ammo, I guess, if you're using that. Um, but it looks like they have some junk here as well. So, uh, on top of having, you know, some, some bits and bobs, like, you know, the, the camera or the kickball, they do have bulk junk items. That's really cool. I actually didn't know that. So, bulk... Bulk steel. I actually need steel right now. Fuck it, I'll grab that. Why the hell not? Uh, bulk springs, bulk rubber, bulk gears. Oh, wow. So this is actually going to be a very good location. And ballistic fiber, too. What do you know? A very good location for these items. They'll probably have bulk stuff like this. So there you go, folks. Uh, actually, something... So I guess that does answer our question. Maybe not the medical supply vending machine, but definitely the ammo vending machine is good. Uh, not for ammo, I guess, but definitely for junk, which is kind of surprising. It leads us into our next uh, vending machine, which is going to be the U mine it vending machine. Holy crap. You guys see that? Level or a 950 cap bounty old school. Let's see if we can take a look at this gentleman. Where is he? See up there. There's elixir right there. How you doing elixir? All right. Well, let's get the fuck out of here. Make sure that we don't get involved in whatever business these guys are up to. I don't want to ruin their day. But let's go over here to the rusty pick. Man. 950 caps! I have never seen something like that before. Holy shit. Can't get over that. Almost uh, left me shocked. All right, folks. We are here at the Rusty Pick, and the last mining, or sorry, vending machine we're going to be looking at here is the U Mine It vending machine. Um, so, yeah, popping in here. I actually did take a look at this earlier. I was uh, doing some research on it, you know, like uh, who created what. It looks like this was put in place by either like the Garahans or the Hornwright, but for a little bit of history, uh, I'm not exactly sure why, although I can, you know, speculate and probably correctly estimate that. The uh, So the responders put up the ammo and medicine vending machines. I can assume that was to help out people in need. I mean, it's pretty straightforward. You put in some caps, you get some stuff. Uh, maybe a way for them to create revenue, too. But that's pretty straightforward. Anyways, this is the u mind vending machine. While I was looking that up, I found out there's actually a quest that goes along with uh, these maps. So I, it doesn't, I don't think it matters which one you grab. What we're going to do is grab the most expensive one. I'm hoping that'll probably uh, get us the most. And it's supposed to give us the Lucky Strike repeatable quest. And I believe that I've never actually done this before. So this is something that is going to be uh, totally new to me, uh, hopefully. So let's, uh, let's go for it. Here we go. So just bought an excavator's map. Let's see. I'll go to new over here. Let's try to open this baby up. 
Yes, identify... No, put... Using the map, it will remove the map from your inventory. Yes, identify the dig site on your map. Let's see. Where do I... Wait. Where the fuck is the dig site? Is it, like, marked by something? What? I'm dead ass standing up looking at my screen right now. What the fuck? Is that it? Oh, checkpointed. Oh, okay, hold on. Okay, okay. Going over here to data, lucky strike. Fun. Oh, okay, we're, okay, so it didn't, it didn't even matter. Okay, so it just automatically does it. Lucky Strike, and this is a side quest. I've purchased a map from the U Minet machine leading to the nearby prospecting site. I should proceed to the site to discover if my purchase was worthwhile. Find and excavate the dig site in abandoned mine shaft number one. I don't think I've done this before. This is awesome. Oh my god, something I haven't done before in this game that I can actually record and put on my channel. That's brilliant. Because I said the other day, I was like, oh, I played everything, blah, 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 you know, being an arrogant asshole. And uh, I guess I was wrong. So we are here. Um, let's use Medicine Stick while we're here, just because uh, I can just headshot these scorched or ghouls, wherever they are. Let's see, though. All right, so for this gear, I assume it's going to be like this mound right here. Oh, there is a sp it is that mound, but there's a spooky scorched here. That was a, already a legendary one. Where is... There he is, back there, okay. I see him. What are you doing? Get the fuck away from... Sorry, I'm waiting for my vats to, you know, move up. I don't think I have the right class on. I think I was doing my Nomad Build video, and that's what, uh... What do you call it? That's what kind of fucked me over here. Holy shit. I'm sorry, folks. I'm having a bad time here. I need some more AP. Don't have the right setup here. I never have the right setup in my videos. I'm sorry, folks. I'm so sorry. Give me two more seconds. Hold on. Hold on. Come on, you bastard. Uh, I crippled my limb there. All right, but we got two legendary guys. So that's not bad. Uh, let's see. Eh, that's some bullshit. Okay. Let's go dig this shit up. Quest started. Lucky strike. Okay. Dig site. Excavate. Let's do it. As soon as this, uh, this little prompt goes away, I'll click this. All right, here we go. There we are. Instigating short. Oh, maybe that wasn't the same thing. All right. I think this is probably going to be the legendary items we got. Oh, come on. Hurry the fuck up. I hate this. It's like the uh, end of a Modern Warfare 2 match. There we go, though, folks. Lucky strike. What do we get from this? Come on. 15 lead scrap. 20. Whoa. That's actually not bad. And five concrete scrap. I'm always in need of concrete. Holy shit. So for 165 caps, you can do something as easy as that. And uh, hey, it's a repeatable quest. You get some XP for it. If, uh, I don't know, I'm, if you're looking to strive after those, like complete every challenge or whatever, go for it. Uh, but I guess that was it. Holy crap. Can't believe that there was something I haven't done before. That's uh, definitely new and uh, totally keeps me invested in this game because there is always something new out there even if you haven't seen it before but i'm not going to go into that rant again i always do all right folks this was just a little analysis and uh, i guess this was kind of just a video going around a mission that i haven't played before but uh, i don't know what i'm going to title this i guess maybe the ammo vendor analysis i don't fucking know something like that i'll think of something clever but thank you guys for watching i really appreciate it we are so close to a thousand subscribers it's insane thank you guys so much my name is navigator have a nice day take care